Do you want a dog trainer, a gun dog trainer, that gives you the truth, that gives you the tools to train your dog yourself? So ask the question, why is Chris Upton on the internet? I'm on the internet because I believe in the truth. I believe in that we should not be mis-selling our training of dogs, whether it's gun dogs or pet dogs. We should be truthful and honest with people. And I've gone out of my way. I put my head above the parapet to show people that you can use corrections, discipline, and gameplay to get the best out of your dogs. Now, I train gun dog people. I train people with pet gun dogs. I train people with working gun dogs. I train people with competition dogs. I started off on Facebook and then went over to YouTube. And the reason I went over to YouTube is I was fed up of seeing people on gun dog forums, on the internet, on Facebook, being missold the truth. A pack of lies about how to get the best out of your So for over five years, I built up a portfolio of over five and a half thousand videos. And we had over seven thousand subscribers following us. This was a new thing. People said you cannot train people and help people with videos over the internet. We've proved them wrong. We've proved them that the internet is the way forward to helping people. Put up your videos, show your work, show the quality of your work. Anybody can sit on these forums talking about dog training and giving advice. But where are their videos? I don't mean one or two videos, I mean thousands of videos. Put up your work, show yourself working with customers, show yourself working with clients, clients' dogs. This is what I think the future of gun dog training is going to be. It's going to be internet based. There is positives and there is negatives with internet-based training. And what we need to do, we need to be open and honest with people. The honesty comes through the videos. The honesty comes through the salesmanship, the trainability, the skill set you have, and how you put yourself across to others on the internet. Don't be fooled by smiles and promotions of, here's a certificate. Get out there and train the dog. Learn from somebody who's been there, done it, and understands the pitfalls. If you need support, come over to Patreon and support me. I will support you. So let's ask the question, why are so many people struggling by following videos on the internet from people who don't know what they're talking about? By listening to people on gun dog forums with very little understanding. A little bit of knowledge can be dangerous. Over on Patreon, we have like-minded people that are there to help each other succeed. The purpose of the group is to get people together and help them, help them understand what is required on a day's shooting, a day's beating, a day's picking up, working those dogs in the field, having fun. The enjoyment is about having fun, enjoying what you're doing, working with like-minded people with knowledge and experience and that's where I come in with 35 years experience I can add to everything and help people understand what we do this for and it's really important that dogs will go wrong all dogs will go wrong but when do you put them right when do you step in and use discipline and the videos that we put up are not glossy videos only showing perfect dogs they're showing the problems and how we sort the problems we discuss it we have debate we show people how to get over their problems with their dogs how to create drive desire how to have that dog working nicely for you and that is part and parcel of the game but the nicest thing is we have a group of people that are all willing to learn and listen and improve and that's the nice thing about coming over to patreon you, you you're involved in a group the Corleone family things go wrong like this it's how you put them right, how you show people how to put them right. Everybody had a wonderful time in Scotland. But what are we looking for in reality? What is a quality dog? A happy dog is a quality dog. A dog that enjoys to work for you and wants to work for you. And that's the whole element about training. The videos don't lie. 
are the dogs happy are the dogs enjoying what they're doing it's so important that you realize that just because you see a obedience trained dog in a 15 second video on the internet does that mean it's a good dog i like dogs that will work all day for you i like dogs that you can go out and shoot over you could run in competition or you could just go and have fun with them and that's what they love they love being out with you if you treat them right but i have never had a dog yet that is resentful of discipline if trained the way i show you 95 percent fun based training five percent discipline they'll take the discipline all day long they learn to switch off the pressure because they want the gameplay and this is how we train dogs we don't beat dogs into submission we don't force dogs but at certain stages you've got to step up and use discipline but today's society people do not want to talk about the discipline and over the years and i've met read many wonderful and weird dog training books they don't want to talk about the discipline side they want to skirt over that and yet the old school used to be so much discipline today's dog training is so much fun based and the dog enjoying what you're doing when you're training the dog the idea is not to suppress the drive but to control the drive have you got a happy dog the videos will tell me what your dog's like you can't beat one-to-one -one training but not everybody can travel every week to a trainer who says it the way it is over on patreon you've got a group of like-minded people that all reach out to help each other but they're putting up their videos to show you the standard of their dogs don't follow somebody who won't put up the videos to show you the standard of their dogs go and find someone who puts the, the proof is in the pudding they show their work that is so important for you to see that the videos that we put up just don't show you the glossed finished dog they show you how to get the best from those dogs that we work with and we love this is a passion this is not just a hobby this is not just my living this is a passion i am the luckiest guy i do a job that i thoroughly enjoy i'm so privileged in this picture here is my dogs just free running on the moor and in, enjoying themselves little bits there look full of pups she's not going like she would normally go there's two young dogs here following the older dogs and thoroughly enjoying it and that's what it's about it's about getting your head down and learning what it's all about and that's what we do here at Corleone Gun Dogs come over to Patreon for six pounds a month six pounds a month you've got access to over a thousand training videos to help you improve and get your dog to a good standard that you can be proud of or anybody else would be envious of we don't feed bullshit over on Corleone Gun Dogs we feed reality don't listen to people who tell you what you're doing wrong with your dog tell them to put up their videos and show you what they're doing let's see if they've got a well-schooled pack let's see if they've got a balanced pack let's see if the dogs are enjoying life or whether they're feeding you bullshit because unfortunately there's so much bullshit out there coming off these forums and these internet warriors that tell you that you shouldn't be using discipline you should only be using positive and positive only you should, your dog should want to do it and you should never force it to do it nobody wants to force a dog but sometimes you have to step up to the plate but if we don't explain to people when to step up and when to give discipline and how to give discipline then how are we going to pass on the knowledge and the understanding because it's been used for thousands and thousands of years are they calling everybody who's ever used discipline a dinosaur have we moved so far in that direction that everything is positive and positive only i don't think so i think the whole point of it is is it's so misleading out there on the internet and i have made it my ambition to teach people how to get the best out of dogs from 95 percent gameplay but that five percent discipline at the right time is the right thing to do if you don't allow bad habits to creep in you don't have to use so much discipline it's as simple as that but discipline comes in many forms leadership comes in many forms we're not looking for an alpha dog a bully we're looking for a pack leader someone the dogs want to follow someone the dogs enjoy to be with and this is the most important thing if these dogs want to be with you because they enjoy being with you you'll have dogs that will want to work for you 
with you. And that's the whole point. My dogs aren't self-employed. They don't work for themselves. But I don't destroy the driving desire. I keep that driving desire from youngsters right through to, to the point that we've got Wiz in here. Look, he's 11 years old now and still loves the game. And yet he's had thousands and thousands of flushes, contact flushes, stuff shot over him. And we've got the youngsters. You can't tell me who the youngsters are. You can't tell me who the older dogs are because they're all happy. They're all enjoying themselves and they're all having fun. And that's what it's about. It's about the dogs enjoying what they do. If they enjoy what they do, you have a happier dog. If the dogs please you, you're happier. And that's what it's all about, everybody. It's about quality of life for you and your dogs.